aka Bell and Circuit here with a beat breakdown video of one of the two beats that I put together this month. And this one <clears throat> is comprised of a slow jam that came from a new age sampler record, some pads and percussion that came from a 70s funk record, and then some vocal and sax samples that came from a sort of weird orchestral jazz record. So come along, we're gonna break it down right now. So the main melodic element in this track is something called slow jam and ironically it comes from a new age compilation record that a label put out way back when and the most distinguishing characteristic about it I guess is the off time snare so that sounds something like this So there's two versions of that. The one you just heard, which is basically just alternating back and forth between two chords. And the other version is the full sample that uh, has a chord change in it. And that sounds like this. Slow. So basically the track is built off of that sample. Um, there are obviously some other melodic elements here, um, most notably a pad sample that uh, has a chord change in it, and that sounds like this. significantly uh, just to, to fit in with the slow jam obviously. The other melodic element we have is this uh, vocal sample that came from a jazz record and that sounds like this. And you can see that I kind of automated the gain on the clip come in quite so abruptly and that the pad and echo at the end of that sample kind of tails off more gracefully than it did. And then the final melodic element is the saxophone sample that came from that same jazz record, I believe, I think so. Uh, I try to maintain an air of uh, plausible deniability here with samples, so I I purposely try not to remember what record they came from. Uh, anyway, the sax sample is this. Then there are some other sort of sound design, ear candy stuff going on in here. One is this swell sample. Which is pitched down. Then we have the ringy hit, which originally started life um, as this sample. So it has that impact hit and then the guitar pick scrape thing. So what I ended up doing was just using the end, that last pick scrape. So. And then we had the uh, Timbali samples. Um, 
which are just single hits, which sound like this. I basically played them in, uh, trying to emulate how a timbali player would play, but I'm not one. I automated the gain on it so that they become louder as it goes through the sequence of hits. There's a crap ton of uh, crunch on the drum bus to make them a little more snappy, and then there's a bunch of Valhalla Supermassive on it too, and so you get uh, this. The other thing is these hits that are used at the beginning uh, in the intro and then in the break in the middle and they sound like this. When the vocals first appear they just appear by themselves um, with the pads. Then you'll hear the timbali hits come in here. So then the sax also appears by itself, more or less. And then combine them so that the phrases kind of overlap and you get kind of a call and response thing like this. There's a break here where we introduce the, those hits again. And that's it. Sweet jams. I'm going to put up the other beat breakdown in the next couple days. So stay tuned for that. And then next month we'll be back with a brand new beat from vinyl. See you next time.